Welcome to another unboxing with the Wade's Ventures family. Welcome in, guys. Um, hopefully today is a great day with the unboxings. I know we're going to find some cool stuff. Hit the thumbs up button before we start. It is a Sunday, so if you're enjoying the games today, hopefully things go great uh, for a few teams. Won't mention any names. But that being said, a um, couple news announcements. We are going to be doing unboxings today which you're seeing right now of course unboxings tomorrow okay uh then we're gonna do a live unboxing tuesday so you guys can join in on that not sure what the time will be but we're actually gonna unbox stuff live and then wednesday is our auction guys it's only our third auction since we've been starting these units so you guys can actually buy stuff if you like or even hang out if you don't want to buy anything. And that will be Wednesday at 1 p.m. next week. Um, so here basically in a few days you guys can join in on that auction Wednesday. And then Thursday, back to daily videos. So that being said, we have Grandma V helping today. <laughs> yeah. And we have a tub, which we normally don't have a, uh, tubs. We do have quite a few tubs. So well, I guess we have two tubs there and three tubs four tubs to go through today guys so we have some tubs and we have some boxes that we're going to unbox today as well um rare that we get tubs though so let's see what we have i have not looked in any of these tubs by the way so we're not sure exactly what we have but all right let's go ahead and open the first tub uh, <laughs> somebody needs coffee today um oh and then God. it's pretty nice outside too by the way i love this kind of stuff okay what is that? Very a military old hat. Military hat. I love hats. Yes. This one's not. This one's old. Oh yeah, my so goodness. Yeah, I'm trying to hold it real careful because it does have a. But now, normally they have a pin here, but I wonder what branch this is. Maybe the army. Let's see. Well, maybe it says in here. Oh, it is the army. I had no idea. Let me take some of this out. Wow, this is old, yeah, guys. Yeah, you gotta be gentle with that one, it looks like. It's yeah. all, I think they're all wool. Wow, look at that. I've now I found some of these, but I've never found one that looks this fragile before. Oh, this is a U.S. Army's officer's regulation cap. And look, you can even see a picture of the officer in there. Wow. Um, that could have been the officer. Dick Hansen. But look, there's a picture of the officer in there. Wow. I've never seen that before. So, yeah, this is it. <laughs> you found another. I think that's a men's hat. It is. But I think women could wear it too. All right, so here's the first one. We have a beautiful officer's cap. If you know anything about this, let me know. And this is thick leather, by the way. So there's that. I'm sure they're made out of the best products. Yep. I've never found an officer's hat. Is that like hat. an Indiana Jones hat? <laughs> this says Eddie on here. Eddie, and it's got, wow, look at that. That is beautiful. It's got leather with metal little designs on it. Um, Eddie Bros since 19... Eddie Bauer hat. Is that what it says? Yes, it's a brand. Oh, <laughs> okay, so Eddie, Eddie Bauer. Eddie Bauer is a very nice men's brand. Yeah, this says Eddie... They're still in business. Since 1929, and this is a extra large made in the United States. Um, extra large made in the United States. All right, there is the second Here's one. There's a hood that's missing a coat. Okay, hopefully we find the coats. <laughs> oh. What is that? Oh, that's, that's brand new. Yeah, and it's one that you, it's a hoodie and keeps your neck warm and keeps your head warm. Wow, I've never it's seen one It's a Yukon one. It, I bet it's uh, really, really warm. Yukon 2000s. Oh, this is where they wear, wear it on ice. And let's keep that theme going. Wow, that is interesting. Okay, you have another one? This one doesn't have the tags. We'll be listing a lot of this clothing on Poshmark, guys. So if you want this clothes. I love this hat. That's an Eskimo it's hat. It's leather. <laughs> real leather and uh, sheep's wool or something. Oh, yeah. It feels weird. Like it is probably sheep's wool. I can't keep hats in. I love These are nice hats. Look at they that. need to be brushed off, you know, and cleaned up just a little, but not much. Yeah. Just a little. <laughs> I like that. Now, this is a black one. Uh, the Made in the United States Extra Large. It's 100% wool. So this black one's 100% wool. And we have this guy. 
This one here, somebody's gonna, people are gonna want these hats. Oh, they're nice. This one is um, Stockton, California, and Dorpmont Pacific. I could be saying that wrong. This is a large, this one's a large, so this is our first large hat. Look at that. Okay. Oh, whoa. <laughs> Did you see the front no. of this? It's the Hoover Dam. Oh, they probably had a hard hat them. tour. Yeah, they. This is an old Hoover Dam. Is that so a souvenir if you go to the Hoover Dam? I think they actually wore this in the tour. This is something that they used to tour and they wore this. And this is an old Hoover Dam, probably. I bet you they wore this in the tour. Wow, now that could be worth something. It's got a little cr uh, crack right here. Probably do the age, but man, that is cool. All right. And we have some more hats. Let's see. This one here is a straw hat. It uh, looks like a, oh, a beach hat that you would wear at like at. Um... Could be a beach hat. It says made in the United States one size. Yeah. Or a gardening hat. <laughs> oh, no, that's too nice for a gardening hat. That's a margarita hat that you wear this is on a fish... some island. This is a fishing hat. It's got a really cool fly fishing stuff on it. Let's see. This one is DPC, um, extra large, and it is made in the United States. This is definitely a beach hat. Oh, yeah, with the shells. Look at those shells on that thing. Somebody's going to love this. You could, could even do it in the gardening. If you guys are gardening, you can wear this so you don't get sunburnt. It's got... It's got some tape here, so I'm wondering if it's to hold. It's got a small crack, but all right. What else you got? Well, this one's kind of interesting. It was a favorite because it's worn out. But how do you wear? <laughs> how do you wear the top of your hat off? That's so if you want to scratch your head. Do you, are you? Uh, so if you want to scratch your head, your head somewhere, you just put your finger in there and scratch your head. <laughs> all right. So yeah, this one has. I don't know what's going on with this one, but all right. And that one is velveteen. An old ladies hat. Velveteen ladies hat. It's pure black. It it feels interesting. Flops around. This is a sixties or seventies hat. It is. I remember Twiggy wore a hat like that once. <laughs> Look at that. Twiggy. Famous model in the sixties oh. and seventies. The most famous. Wow. That's cool. And California Highway Patrol, an old California Highway Patrol hat. This is definitely vintage. Cop Stuff, Inc., Inglewood, California. Definitely made in the United States. Gonzaga hat. Yep. Nike. Definitely vintage. This is 90s. A 90s. See on. Yep. Black. Nothing too special, but... Pretty cool. Not taking my guns away. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> NRA hat. This is a vintage NRA hat, guys. It's pretty cool. It's in beautiful condition. My goodness. That's really 100% cotton. This is a beautiful NRA hat. And we have a Ferrari hat. This one's probably the most expensive one out of the hats we found so far. A Ferrari hat. This yeah. is a vintage Ferrari hat. And it looks in great shape. Like fantastic shape. Then we have, oh, we have, oh two, we have two of those. really, this could be something. I don't know much about USS Kitty Hawk CV-63. We're going to have to look into these, and they're in beautiful shape. Of course, made in the United States. How can you not have a hat like that made in the United States? So we've got two of those. And it looks like we have another one of these. We have a duplicate, yeah. Duplicate, so we have two of those. And then the last one, I have no idea what that says. I was trying to figure that one out myself, and I couldn't. <laughs> Made in the United States, size seven and a half. I have no idea what that is. All right, that is. A, I didn't realize there's. First of all, this is our first hat lot. Yeah, but there's look, a lot of them in here. The Hoover Dam thing is amazing. We're gonna get that online. Whoever wants the Hoover Dam, Ferrari's good. NRA is good. The this guy here is really cool. Two of those. This so. would be a good uh, auction lot. Yeah. For these hats. Possibly, possibly, these, guys. Like all these gaps. Yeah, somebody would love those. All right, let me put all these away. We'll be right back to the next tote. Don't go anywhere. This was an interesting first box. I liked it. Hoover Dam. Hoover Dam. All right, she's already opening the next box. 
Uh, we, we just woke up, guys, so we need caffeine. <laughs> or Coca-Cola, your favorite, right? Yeah, once in a while I drink it. I'm ready today. All right, so let's... Oh, ooh, hopefully nothing's broken. I love all the wrapping... Uh, I love the tissue. Oh, my goodness. Ooh. Wow, look at that. That's not a bad... Ooh, what is can, it? I can read it. Maybe it's a jewelry box? No, it's a, it's a knick-knack jewelry box. Oh, a trinket box? Yeah. We can Pan painted. It says K-U-T-A-N-T -T China. I could be wrong. K-U-N-T something China. But look at that. Wait, do I have it right? Oh, it's a bird. A bird. And, oh, it goes like this. I like it. Oh, the bird is laying down. <laughs> That's kind of weird. Laying down. Yeah, he's laying down in the. My bird don't lay down. I've never... Sometimes I wish he would. <laughs> <lay down. laughs> I've never seen that before. Maybe I have it upside down. I don't know. It's so weird. Oh yeah, I did have it upside down. There you go. It's not laying down. <laughs> All right. What else you got over there? This is from 1950. And it's called a hot shot, and it came from Washington. What would a hot shot be? I don't know. 1950 hot shot. It does say 1950 on there. Yeah. Hot shop. Huh. That's Octo a little odd. Huh? October 1950. Weird. I don't know. Let me let me know in the comments if you guys know what that is. I don't know what a hot shot in a bottle like that would be. Okay. This one says. This one says. Thermometer. Uh, really? Oh, oh, it's in there, and it's in beautiful shape. It's got its original sticker to it. Wow, look at that. That is in gorgeous shape. It says dependable, uh, guar um, guaranteed, and it's in beautiful shape, and it's all there. Wow. That is cool. Oh, it says lamb, pork, meat. So, yeah, this is a meat thermometer. That is cool. Well, that's the first one we found, I think. This one says Gettysburg, October 24th, 1945. Oh my, Gettysburg, 1945. What are these? Are they're these hot, shot? They said they're hot shots, but what is that? I'm dying. I, I don't know. October 25th, 1948, Gettysburg, Pennsylvania. I'm dying to know what what is a hot shot. It, I don't know. Is it medicine? It could be. I mean, it looks like a little medicine jar, maybe. That's weird. And we have some of these. Let's see if they're, they say silver. Nope, I think these are plate. These are plate. It says triple, triple on there. So I think these are triple plate maybe. I don't know. These are plate though. Three these forks and a pink and white dishes are beautiful. Look how oh. shiny they are. They're highly glazed. Wow. Real smooth looking. They feel so nice. They're really different than an average one. Yep. I don't know what the brand is on it, but man, There's, this is... Yeah, that, it's unbranded. It's so old looking, but beautiful. All right. And you have... This is from Ireland, I think. Double check my eyes. Okay. <laughs> this is from Ireland? That's the... Oh, du no, England. Oh, okay. Royal Bell made in England. And man, that is gorgeous, guys. I think this is uh, for, what, sugar, right? Yeah, it's a sugar bowl. Man, look at that. Does anybody still use sugar bowls? Let me know if you guys still use sugar bowls. That is beautiful. Now Ooh. this, is, that's a weird shaped sugar bowl. But that's wow. a set. Look at this. Wait, that is not a set. It's the whole set. That's not a set. These oh, are wow. little soup bowls. Oh my goodness. I've never seen China soup bowls like this before. Wow. Oh, they're called Sienta, and they're from Bavaria, and yep. there's a big, long name. H&C Bavaria Senta. Oh, it's the same brand as the other one, I think. H-E-I-N-R-I-C-H. Man, these things are light. And they have to be soup bowls, wouldn't they? Yes. You there's no chips on them or anything. These are probably my favorite soup bowls we found in the unit. They are mine. And oh, here's the wow. sugar bowl that goes with that. Oh my goodness, the set. And then look at this set. It's got the gold trim on the top. Oh wow. It's even it even has one of those coffee things in there. This is gorgeous. They're numbered 70. Wow, look at that. That is gorgeous. And you have more over there? Yes. This we have the whole set, I think. 
Oh, wow. There's no way those could be coffee cups with two handles, could they? I don't know. No. Maybe maybe you both share it. I don't know. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, wow. Here's some more of those. Those are too good. And they're like really thin china. Really thin china. Now. You got plates? Yeah. But on the middle, I, I don't know if the gold's a tiny bit wore off or if that's the design. Because I've seen some that have the design like that. Yeah. So I'm confused on it, like normal. <laughs> I love the okay. serving bowl. Yeah, this is huge. Look, I love how the uh, the flowers go in the middle of the serving bowl. That's what's so awesome. Oh, looking. here's some big. Look at that. Man, somebody's going to love this one. And we have, do we have four? Oh, good, good, good. I thought we only had three. We have four plates with it, too. And a platter. Oh, wow. Can you believe all this is coming out of that one box? And another serving bowl. Oh, my goodness. Oh, wow. That's a nice set. This a little is serving bowl. Beautiful. Serving bowl. You can use it for anything. Love this set. Wow. Oh, Got I more? I was done. <laughs> I just thought so. I wonder what that would be. I don't know. It feels different. A it cup? is different. Oh, that's weird. Two metal cups. <laughs> old metal cups. So no two, marking. Two old metal cups. Now well, that's there you random go. in here. Maybe they use that in the army. Kind of reminds you of that. All right, look at this. I think those go on those saucers. Yeah, they do. But they could be soup served on a saucer. I have no, your guess is better, probably better than mine. And we have these. And that is just a guess. <laughs> this box is incredible. Uh, remember, our store links will be below. We'll try to get all this stuff on as soon as possible. This is some really beautiful china, and it's really thin, by the way. All right, so let me put all this away. What's your favorite part? Well, my favorite <laughs> part is the china, of yeah. course. But I want to find out what a hot shot is. Yeah, let us know, guys. What is a hot shot? There's two Way of them. Way back in those, you know, the 50s and 40s. One was 45. We don't know the other two. 1950, 1945, Gettysburg. They're oh, they're older than me. Yeah, those are old. They're probably medicine. All right, be right back. Don't go anywhere. Doctor, I need a hot shot. <laughs> <laughs> it's probably whiskey. <laughs> Put some whiskey in it. All right, we'll be right back. Don't go anywhere. All right, next, bin. We're doing a bin in the box, if you guys haven't noticed. Bin, box, bin, box. Well, bin wow, box. we got clothes, and I never expected. We haven't got any clothes out of this no, unit. No, clothes. It's weird. <laughs> but, guys, don't sleep on vintage clothing. I mean, it... This is an extra large... Woo! Looks like it's never been worn. Oregon, yeah, none of these clothes look like they've been used. Oregon State, OSU, OSU. eight. That's when Oregon State yeah. started, eighteen sixty-eight. Let's take a look at the tag because that will tell us a lot here. Yeah, all these are vintage. Look, an old Champions apparel, extra large. This is a vintage piece, probably from the nineties. Probably from the nineties, guys. I used to sell a lot of vintage clothing. What's that one? <laughs> You know what? These know. are brand new. These are all brand new. They collected them. <laughs> I, I re love this one. Uh, what? I I really I, sh I really should get a backup garage just in case. Interesting. What would that mean? I don't know. In let's case see. you fill it up, or let's see the tag. This is another vintage piece. This is prob. So this brand probably they. They had something printed, you know, that they wanted on there on that particular that particular one. This one's on. Okay, what's it up with the sleeves? It feels like it's real wool. Oh yeah, no, oh, this is wool. And they were making it. This was handmade, and it needs to be finished. And they need the sleeves. You know, someone can make a vest out of this. Yeah. Oh. You... And it's real wool. I think you're right, cause look here. Yeah, they haven't hemmed it yet. They haven't put the sleeves on yet. It has notches. Remember when we used to sew with notches back in the day? <laughs> I don't, but they do. Yeah, you cut out the notches so you can match the patterns. Oh, wow. Yeah, I've sewed a lot. I had to learn to sew. I screwed up one summer and didn't pick enough beans, and my mom wouldn't give me money for school clothes, <laughs> so she taught me how to sew. But anyway, It's that's either you pick beans or you make your own clothes? Pick strawberries and beans. Diana and I did every year. And then uh, one year, I just wanted to play with my friends. I didn't. I wanted to have fun out there in the bean field, and I didn't have any money at the end of the year because I didn't pick very much. 
Diana had a lot. So anyway, I learned to sew. <laughs> and that's what those notches are. Interesting. <laughs> okay. All right. Ooh, this feels good. It's brand new with the it's, tag. Yes. That one doesn't have any letters on it, but that's a vintage piece. Oh, wait. Probably early 2000s. I don't know. It's a 100% cotton, extra large, winter white. It's gorgeous. So let's see the tag it's here. It's kind of thin. You know the brands better than I do. Yeah, I used to sell a lot of vintage stuff. Yeah, this is probably early, early 2000s or late 1990s. And so, it's soft. Definitely 20 years old. Soft. And I think this is the same thing, only in a different color. Oh, wow. But they're extremely soft. This is definitely a men's. men's. Yeah, it's men's. Yep, this is another vintage These one. These are nice looking, Wade. Yeah, oh yeah. Yep. You can't get them anymore. Brand new like that. You can probably get something similar, but... Uh, I don't know that brand's in business anymore. Yeah. I'm not sure. That's a pure white? Yeah, extra large. Tall Stafford. Yep. Stafford polo shirts. Made in the United States. Okay, let's liven things up a little bit Okay, what here. do we got? Ooh, an alien? MW2. I don't know what that is. Infinity Ward? MW2. Isn't that that boxing thing? This is Glow in the Dark, by the way. Yeah. Isn't it that boxing thing? This came from Kohl's. They paid $20 for it then. Early 2000s. Yeah. Um, from the tag. I wonder if there's an actual date on here. I don't see anything. Wow, I don't know. Anybody it's know what that is? The, isn't that a fight show? I don't know. Is there anything on the back? Uh-uh. No, I don't see anything on the back. I don't know. Our famous... <laughs> oh, look at there! What is it? They, oh. they, isn't that Cookie Monster? Sesame Street shirt. Yes, that's a vintage a Sesame Street. A brand new Sesame Street shirt. shirt. I can't talk. <laughs> yeah, here, this one's 20 years old, too. Early 2000s, late 1990s. Look at that. This could be this is worth something here. Probably a forty dollar shirt. And it's not those thin t shirts that you get that you wash them and they go all out of shape, all cockeyed. <laughs> These are actually really thick t shirts. Yeah. Ooh, that's an old Ford. Yes. And it's brand new with the tags. Yes. This is a it's beautiful... called Blue Heather and it's a two X. Man, I might actually well it's two that... X, that's too big for me, but it might shrink a little bit with Yeah, look at that. This is early 2000s, um, late 1990s, made in Mexico. That is a cool Ford shirt. All right, what do we got over here? Another athletic shirt? Yeah. This is definitely 1990s, made in the United States. 19. This is from 1990, some period 1990. That's a nice one. This one's a 2010. And it's a Coors. Yes, and you got to see the back on this one. Okay. It's Flip it over. Oh, wow. Look at that. That is cool. That is cool. Hop. I'm loving these t-shirts. I just yeah. think they're we, so cool. We haven't got a lot of clothes, so. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what the heck? A pumpkin. That is cool. Oh, it's got little... You can see the, uh, you can feel the... Rubber. It's like rubber. Yeah, it's a rubber shirt. Wow. Let's see what size is this. This is extra large. Extra large. This is probably, like I said, about 20 years old. Pumpkin. Okay, what do we got there? Oh my gosh. What do you got? <laughs> oh yeah! Look at that! Family guy! That's I a, love this one. This is in beautiful shape. I love him. What? Where is it made out of? Or what size? It's definitely an It's a 2. 2X? Two 2X two or large. But I can't read where it's from. Okay, let me see. Yep, this is early 2000s, probably late 1990s. Probably early 2000s, actually. Probably like a 2002 or something. These are killer shirts. I yes. love them. Is there anything in the back? No. No. It, it, you can tell they're brand new. They just stuck them in here. They, I don't think right. these things have been worn. You can tell they haven't been washed. Remember that Jack Nicholson and Diane Keaton show? No. Where she always wore turtlenecks and he finally cut one off of her? That's <laughs> what these remind me of. <laughs> yeah. This one doesn't have the tags unless they're in here. 
Oh, this is a jockey, a vintage jockey. Look, um, it's extra large, made in the United States. That's a vintage They're jockey. They're all just brand new. Yep. This is beautiful. Same thing. But same thing. Yeah. Yes. Oh, no, that's this got is a high tag. Sierra. Yeah. High Sierra is not a really expensive brand, but... But it sure feels nice. Yeah. That's it. All right. Darn. Well, that was a nice little... That's a nice little break. This is 100% cotton High Sierra made in the United States. I love some of them. I really thought they're all in perfect condition. Yeah, they... they, they... <laughs> we got a few tubs we're going to go through. Remember, we're going to do tub box, tub box day. We're going to switch it up a little bit today. All right. <laughs> Sounds like a, like so, a deal. I'm going to get some of these on ASAP, guys. So it'll be fun. The, be a nice little breakup from the normal, right? Right. All right. Don't go anywhere. All right. Here's our box. <laughs> tub box, tub box. Right off the bat. Ooh, I think we found some of that already, right? Yeah. Sarah Cruz. I love the edge on this. It's 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 red, by the way. You can't see it, but it's red. Okay. Yep. Trademarked. Anybody know about this china? Let me know. So I think we found some other. Oh wow! That is so cute. That little teapot. Wow! I've never seen one with a flat top like that before. Isn't that Look cute? Look at that. It's got birds on there. Oh and. It has the little lip and it's not broken at all. Wow, look at that. What's it, who, who, who made it? Oh, yeah, Sarah Cruz, China, 8-C, made in the United States. Oh, the whole set, do you have a whole set? Well, no, they're all different. It's like the lid. I don't know, I may have more. See, the lid stays on, it's got that little lip. So far, they're all different. I'm just getting them ready for you. I think these are all creamers. Yeah, Syracuse 97-8, made in the United States. Those little that's a cute little individual creamer. Yeah, that is, that is awesome. This is a little, it has, that looks like real gold on oh, the top. I, I think you're right. You Definitely. get an eye for the real gold stuff. I can't read what this one is, made in the United States, though. Pretty cool. I'll let you show that one, then we'll show okay. them something. Okay. You got something good? Look at the red <laughs> prints on this one. Oh wow, it's even got red print on the handle. And this is um, MCNICOL China, made in the United States, number 16. Does anybody know what Inca, Inca Ware is? No, <laughs> I have no idea. This is a souvenir Ooh. Nestle's mug. Oh. And back when they got it, you'll see the price is quite Oh high. my gosh, they paid 16 bucks for this. Look at that. A little Nestle's cup. Yeah, Inca Ware, made in Pennsylvania, United States. Wow, look at that. This, this Somebody's going to collect this. That is cool. Oh, these are uh, all unusual shapes. you got to be careful getting them out. Hopefully we find some more of those cups. I want some. Ooh, these Ooh, what milk is, glass. What is that? I don't see any brand on here. There's a slight color on the rim. Yeah. They're light. You can see my fingers through it. Those are very, wow. very cool looking. And of course they got to come in threes. Like where's well, we the... don't know. We got a lot left, Wade. <laughs> where's the fourth one? What? Who Who made these milk glasses? I don't know. They're, I didn't see anything. There's the others. Ooh, these are so, so pretty. Awesome. Buffalo. Are those buffalo? Those are something. Yeah, somebody was telling me about Buffalo in the comments. Oh, really? Remember, we read all your comments. We read all your comments. I can't respond to every single one because we get like 400 a video and we do every I day a video. I wish I could, but I, I, got, I always have to, ooh, I always have to list. I've got like, I get three to 400 comments on YouTube a day and then I get another probably 50 to 60 on Instagram and messages and then I get another 40 or 50 on Facebook per day. And now I'm starting to get them on TikTok. So I'm, I try guys, I love every one of you. But keep commenting because I we love to read them and I will respond. I read every single one. So this is old Buffalo 96015. Remember we're gonna be doing, we're not taking any breaks this year. It's all about social media. Well, oh, here's the Homer McLaughlin. Yeah, oh, is that what that was? best China. Yeah, this is the good stuff. 
Vicky knows all about it, right, Vicky? Vicky, uh, no, Vicky should hire herself out as an expert. <laughs> what the heck is this? I've never seen. Oh wow, this is the. Uh, I've seen this brand before, D A N S K. What the heck? Have I've you... never seen anything like it before. It was very unusual. What is this? This is an old, old piece. Oh, look at the cooking pottery. Cause you can tell they cooked in it. Yeah, look at the top of it. That is unique. Wow. That is unique. All right, what else have we got over here? We're almost at the bottom. This one says 1888 on here 1888 this can't be that old can they syracuse united states 99-b maybe Eight. that's what they paid for it back in the day uh, oh yeah it could or be or could it be that old i don't know it says 1888 on i'd here. like it to be that old but look at that look at the design on that it reminds me of kind of like roman stuff or well, roman style to it all right, and we have a random one here with blue or green. Oh, this is Buffalo China. See the Buffalo? This is Buffalo China. This could be expensive. Buffalo China. <laughs> Do you have something in there you love? I was hiding it. I love that. <laughs> I love that. That is the, probably the best piece out of the box. Oh. Wow. That is gorgeous. It's a... Kind of a purplish blue. I've never seen one like that. glass divider dish. Wow. That is probably the best dish we found in the last few videos. It's a Pyrex. Oh, this could be worth something. I was trying to oh hide my it and pull gosh. It all unwrapped. Made in the United States Pyrex number 18. This is 1063-11-2 Pyrex. And Look you at... can see shadows through the glass when you hold that up. Yes. Oh my gosh. Somebody's going to want it's this It's very, dish. very unique looking in person. Uh, you can actually see through it. I've, we've never found a Pyrex dish like this, ever. Have we? No. This is something, could, this could be something special. I thought it was special before I saw the box. Oh my <laughs> goodness, guys. I have, and it's big too. And there's no chips. It looks brand new. That's a nice serving dish. Oh wow, this is this is too cool. I love it. Somebody's. <laughs> I would. I it, would. It's the bomb. <laughs> it's the bomb. <laughs> we're we're trying to come up with new words. That's a groovy dish. <laughs> Very that, groovy. Is that groovy dish. <laughs> um, guys, this is the best Pyrex we found in the unit, mm -hmm. hands down. On my personal opinion. Wow. Okay. This is my favorite item. I'm assuming it's yours, right? It is mine. All right. Let me put all this away. Remember. Oh. I, the Nestle's cup runs a oh, close second. Oh, yeah. <laughs> There's number two, number one. This is a beautiful box. All right, let me put all this away. My table's full, so I'll put it on the other table, and we'll be right back. Don't go anywhere. And my goodness, there's only one of these. Only one person can get it. Sorry, guys. I wish I had, like, 15 of them. Well, when we finish the storage, there may be another one, but I doubt it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's rare. It's got to be rare. What would you guys like? I don't know. <laughs> all right. We have another tub. Rab clothes. What does that mean? Rab clothes? I'm it's never... bright rab. <laughs> I don't know. But all the clothes so far have been pretty much brand new. So I'm wondering if these, yeah, these look Ooh. brand new. These oh, are brand new. That's field and stream. Yeah, that's brand new. Oh, I new. don't want to unfold it. No, it's so... we don't need to. It's folded so perfect. We don't need to unfold it. I think it's wow. uh, this too is, extra large. This is brand new, guys. Vintage. Very nice. Brand new vintage fleece. 100% cotton. Wow. This is nice. This is nice. If it was if it was an extra large, I would be all about it. I think I hope you're all about this one. What do you got? It's an extra large. What is it? And I love it. Oh wow. It's about a vineyard. It's a dry creek vineyard. Dry creek vineyard? It's so pretty. It's a Let's beautiful sweatshirt. Oh it is. And it looks brand new. It's such a striking I love this color, you know. It's, I wear that's um, extra large. Yeah. It's your size. Yeah. Yeah. Look at that. Man, this is a gorgeous piece. And it's thick. It's thick. I don't know which one I like best. That'd be a good color on you. I like this one better than the Field and Stream. Yeah. 
Okay, this one is a Canyon River Blues. Canyon it's River. thermal inside and out. It's got the white... Oh, no, that's just there. It's a thermal shirt. Canyon River Blues. I've never heard of that brand before. And it's an extra, extra large, but they shrunk. They yeah. shrink. Okay. And we have next... We have next an extra large, and I can't read the tag. Oh, that, that, that is a Quicksilver, right? I'm not sure. Yep. It oh, is. You, Wade knows it's clothes. <laughs> um, I used to wear it all the time being in California. But um, by the way, this reminds me of the Nike unit where we, we purchased a 10 <laughs> by 25, all brand new 1970s, 1980s, and 1990s brand new Nike blue tag. Sealed in the bags. Blue tag, sealed in the bags. A lot of Michael Jordan stuff. All right, this was cool. Okay, this says... New, but has a spot on the front. New, but has they a spot. <laughs> I love the color. Yeah. Oh, it is new. It's got its tag. It's university uh, wear, 100% cotton. Yeah. Made in the United States. Never heard of the brand before, but. Where's the spot? I don't know. It's a nice looking shirt, though. Ooh, what is that made out of? I don't know. Ooh, that's a Pendleton. Yes, it is. That's right there. It's a hundred dollar bill, this guys. Must be wool. That it could, is. Yeah, that's a hundred to hundred and twenty bucks right here. Yeah, Pendleton is wool. Yeah, this is vintage Pendleton. That's this is what it is. Hundred percent wool. Hundred percent wool. We get a lot of Pendleton because we're in Oregon, guys. So we're in Oregon. We get a lot of Pendleton. But this is yeah, it says Portland, Oregon, right on the tag. Portland, Oregon, hundred percent virgin wool. This is a hundred and fifty bucks right here. Just one item. It's so nice. Beautiful. Feels good too. Yeah, this is a Feels immense. like thermal inside, but a little furry on the outside. Men's large. Man, that is gorgeous. There we go. 150 bucks on that one. What do we got over here? Pure white. Okay. It's brand Ooh, new. Pepsi. Is that Pepsi? No. <laughs> what is it? Uh I don't know. I don't want to try to pronounce that. P-E-S-E-N-T-I. It's extra large. It's got one um spot right here maybe, maybe. that's where the tag should be because i didn't see it on the other one 100 percent. this is definitely vintage 1990s probably early 2000s and this is uh extra large it's really a nice shape yeah wow oh <gasps> what is that i saw the eagle is there an eagle oh never mind what the heck that Hi, is so guy. what is that does that say surfer surfers alliance yeah Wow. It looks like a beach shirt, tie-dyed and everything. Gosh, this thing is just gorgeous, and it's brand new. I, there's no way this thing's yeah, going to work. Yeah, Surfer's warm. Alliance, extra large. <sighs> it's a surfer shirt. And this is definitely a vintage shirt, guys. Vintage shirt, Surfer's Alliance, made in the United States, 100% cotton. I love the tie-dye part. My goodness. This, I'm gonna, this will go on Poshmark. This is a beautiful piece. Somebody will love it. All right, what do we got? Wow. Two back-to-back -back bangers. Arrow, that's not too crazy, but... Sure feels good. Yeah. I like it. Probably brand new. 2X. 2X. And bigger sizes do well on... Uh, you, you sell bigger sizes more than smaller sizes, typically, when you're, yes. when you're selling clothes. Ooh, this is cool. It's got denim pockets, denim shoulders. Uh-huh. And it's definitely vintage... The original Arizona, probably early 2000s. Yeah, I like the denim. Yeah, I like tan that. denim on it. Yep. I don't. It's definitely not the 90s. Probably 2000s. Let's see what do we got there. It's big. Ooh, Ooh this, this is, is huge. Nice. Man, is that? I a, love the color. I, I. They make it look rustic on purpose. What's the uh, brand on there? I. Is it McPinta? I don't I've know. I don't know. It's, Better I'm, show a close-up of the tag. I've never heard of that brand before. Made in the United States, extra large. Hmm. That's a beautiful piece. It really is. It's a unique... It's like a grayish, greenish blue. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I try to describe everything the best I can. Oh, Ooh. <laughs> my hair up. <laughs> yeah, fix the hair. Fix the hair. Okay. Here's a good sweatshirt. It's uh, S O F F E, soppy, mm -hmm. extra large, soppy adult is... fleece. This this stuff is really good right With now. Hood. Being cold. Yep, I've never heard of that brand before. <laughs> Next. <laughs> okay. Oh, 
Okay. Ooh, New York Highlanders. This feels, it's real heavy cotton. It says Blue Martin on here. Or yeah. no, sorry, not Martin. Made in Peru, extra large. None of these are thin cotton t-shirts. They're all the heavy, yeah. durable ones. Yep, and they all have the actual, um, they're not printed on. They actually have stuff sewn on, which is nice. I hate the thin kind, and they get yeah nasty. Pulled up to your waist <laughs> and shrunk, and one sh one arm's longer than the other, and... Okay, we I think we we already there got one of go. one of this brand oh, already. Oh, this is like that other one. Yeah, they make it look rustic. It's not yeah. it's not washed at all. It's, it's meant like to be. It's like is that called stone stone washed? I'm not sure. I think it is like they do in jeans yeah. and both shirts. There's a purple one and then the turquoise one. You know what's in style right now is it's kind of ridiculous. You know what? People are paying like over 100, 150 bucks for jeans that have dirt on them and holes. Dirt? And holes. Well, the holes I get, but D the dirt? Dirt and holes. Like when you watch them, the dirt and holes. It's just to make it look like it's like worker jeans. Well, all you do is go out and work. Like, <laughs> and have some dirt and, That's you know. the ironic part. But yeah. they want to make it look like, you know, yeah. they're like they pay 100. Look them up. Don't take my word for it. Look it up. 150 bucks. The world. Bucks. What is happening? So I, I, if, you, if you see me, Grandma Ventures and Ashley... Making jeans out here look like they're nasty and then selling them for 150 You know what's going on. All right, we had to change out the battery. Malfunction. <laughs> Malfunction. All right, here's the second piece. And, and the final. And the final. Fluffy. Really nice. And this is brand new. They got it for Big Five back in the day for 20 bucks. Yes, it's an extra large or one... An extra large, really thick, fluffy, nice one. Extra large. Oh, we already fleece. found one of these. Soft fleece, extra large. Very All right. nice. All right. That's not a bad little box there, huh? I love it. Not bad. Okay, it's the bomb. It's the bomb diggity. It does say, you guys notice we're trying to come up with different words. <laughs> It's really hard. It I wish you guys could understand how hard it is. It's hard to come up with it on the fly. All right, we got... And I don't know what that means, but anyway, let's go ahead and put this stuff back. All right. And then we'll go to the next box. Don't go anywhere. And we have another box. So we did bin box, bin box, bin box. Bin box? <laughs> Bing bong. Bing bong. Oh, okay. This is going to be an interesting. Oh. Why didn't they wrap? Oh, my goodness. Oh, wow. You know what that is. You know what that yeah, is. Yeah, that is gorgeous. I'm surprised they didn't wrap it. I just grabbed it out of there. Well, a lot of this is uh, just filler. Yeah. Uh oh. Here, I'll, I'll help get some of these out and we can. Oh, oh wow. Here's it's the a set. It's a creamer. Here, open that sucker up. They have a set in here. Oh, wow. Wow. Okay, okay. we gotta hurry and show them. Yeah. Lit. We did. Oh, my goodness. We just oh, my out. goodness. We gotta let them see. Oh, it. wow. Look at that. Okay. All right. Oh, wow. Okay. This is going to be interesting. Let me get out of the box real quick. Wow. This is what she... Oh, man. We already found a bunch of these, but now you have the whole set. All right. Oh. It's funny how you find one in one box. I've been holding on to things, waiting for the rest of it to come, hoping yeah. it did. Look at this. And you never know. This is the best set. I love this set. This okay, is we got to start showing now. I know. All right. We're oohing and on to ourselves. <laughs> oh, I love this set. Oh, wow. We found a few of them. So this is Fire King made in the United States, but it's the whole set is here. This could be this could be something here, guys. Now look on the plates, normally you never you, you think they haven't been used, but uh -huh. a couple of those look like they might have been. Yeah, still, I mean, Whoa. just gorgeous. Um, here's what it looks like when you look at that. I would sport that. My goodness. That's a creamer. I mean, a sugar ball. I just love the color of it. Here's a cup. Oh, that's the cup. Oh, oh, sorry, I had the wrong one on there. That's all right. <laughs> we like a lot of sugar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> You would add pure sugar. Would you? Would you like a taste? Um, now you got a choice of a cup, and here's a mug. Oh man, this. this so is, some people like mugs. Yep, I love the mugs too. This is all Fire King is highly collectible. This is Fire King wear number twenty-seven, made in the United States. I do have some 
Sunfire King just like this online right now. Yeah. But see, they, they're brand new. Some of these are. Yeah. But they might, uh, it might wash right off. It might just be packing. Yeah, still, the, the, the look of it. There's only one or two like yeah. that. Oh, Ooh. wow. These plates are legit. I love, I love the amber color to them. And then, look at this. Those. Now these are um, chili bowls, right? You can use them for anything, but these are old chili bowls. Pyrex. You know how that works, right? It goes that way. Here, pl pl plop it back. That's what it does. Gorgeous, huh? Wow. <laughs> Are you sure? A hundred percent. That seems so odd. Yep, you 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 hold it from here. See, there's oh, no handles okay. on that. There's well, no... there's these handles. Oh, uh, well, I guess there's that handle, but. Let me see what it says inside. Yeah. The magic box here. I okay. Out of everything in these whole units, uh -huh. these light blue dishes, uh, vintage, with the designs on them, are my favorites because my grandmother had a ton of them. And my mother, my mother, I did give her a few out of this unit to match what she had. Look um, at this. These are beautiful. This is huge. This says Fire King right there. Fire King. Look at that. And there's there's no issues with this. No chips. Nothing. Oh, it doesn't tell me anything. I think it is. This is Fire King glass. Fire King oven glass. Like. I could be wrong. Let us know in the comments, but it fits perfectly. I think that's it's it's. I think you put this on your table, and then when you cook something, you put it on here because it's that hot. That does make sense. Because these are Fire King oven. That does make sense. So you put this on your table. Oh, even the other one didn't have this. No, no. That's why I didn't. I didn't really know what it was. Oh wow. But that makes sense. You take this out of the oven and set yeah. it on a matching. Yeah. The matching trivia. So you put that there. And the only thing is... And then you just put it on there when you're done. Or let's when you're... up one more time, Wade. I want to read some here. Just says Fire King Glass on there. Yeah, but it's up... When it's this side, it does show it right. Okay. Yeah. There you go. Yeah, I think you're right. I think you're right. <laughs> Thumbs up to Wade. Oh. oh, wow. This was a... Oh, wait. We got another item I in there. I almost forgot it. <laughs> oh, Oh, wow. Oh, I remember these. Yep. Those are from the 60s. And this is Fire King, too. Fire King number yes. 13. It says 467 Fire King number 13. Yeah, I remember those. Oh. I bet you all of you guys do. This stuff. And you can see my hands through it. Wow. My goodness. Love this. This Look at this. Love this. <laughs> and I can't even say it's, I'll say it's groovy, but I do love it. <laughs> <laughs> it's groovy, but you love it. All right. So let me put all this stuff away and we'll get on to the next tub. But my goodness. Look at this. These wow. are nice too. They're, they're, there's, there's, uh, yeah, they, they spent a lot of money on this portion here. All right. We'll be right back. Don't go anywhere. Don't go anywhere. All right. You know the deal. Box tub, but we're out of tubs. We only have one more tub. So, or maybe two more tubs. This one's heavy, by the way. <laughs> this thing is so full. I say just dump or just go like this. Oh, I am. But they're, um, it, I, when I open they're it, all brand new. And look at this. It's a Gino Italian style shirt. This is a brand new Gino. I I've never heard of this brand before. Extra large. It's definitely vintage. You can tell by the tag. Extra large. Brand new Italian style shirt. Oh. If anybody knows anything about those, let me know. What the heck is that? This is... Are yeah, there we go. You sticking your hand yeah, down its mouth? it goes clear in there. This is a... A cow uh, <laughs> pajama bag for a kid's bed. Were you gonna say hippo? They stuff. Yeah, I was. They stuff their pajamas in the bag from the mouth. Oh. And it is like mink soft. It is so soft. I've it never. It does have a tiny, tiny little washable spot. I've never seen this before. It's from A N A Plush Ink. Yeah, it's. It feels like mink. That soft, and then they just they every the kids stuff their pajamas in there and keep it on their bed. Huh. <laughs> Weird. And there we have a Van Heusen. We have a brand new Van Heusen. 
Oh my gosh. This is a vintage. Ooh. Oh, it's a doctor. It's, oh wow. Dr. Bonds, it says. Yeah, that, well that's his name. Or that was the grandpa's name. That's. Okay. So this is his doctor. This and is his old. it's brand new, way, the way it was shipped. This is his doctor outfit. Okay, we gotta put that back. Yeah, that was his old. He was a doctor back in the 50s, probably. Yeah. Doctor back in the 50s. That's why we're getting all this doctor Van stuff. Houston. This one, probably, I don't know if this one is used or not. No. Okay, Arrow. Brand new Arrow. Brand new Arrow. Performance. And he must have been big and tall. Yep. Big and tall. This is a brand new. Jonathan Quail. Not bad. I love brand new stuff. It's easy to ship. Jonathan Quail. Some of this stuff actually may not um, may not be. Uh, you can't probably can't get some of this anymore. Some of these brands. So we'll have to look into it. Because some people are stuck on the brand that they love. And these are brand new. So. This one cost $49 back then. And it is a Pinpoint Oxford. $49 Pinpoint Oxford. Uh, yep. Okay. That shirt we found in the wrapping, uh -huh. it was a surgery. Ooh. It shirt. was a surgery shirt. Let's see what this one looks like. Oh, yeah. The same. You can see spots on it. Hopefully that wasn't from somebody. No, I think See? that... Oh, yeah. Splatter spots. <laughs> we'll put that back. Splatter spots. <laughs> if anybody wants that old... Let me know if you guys want that old surgery outfit, by the way. Um, we'll sell it to you. I got some better ones coming up. Just wait. <laughs> what? What is this? A pair of shorts. Oh, they're looking... Like, they do look brand new, don't they? The way they feel. They do. That tag, though. What brand is it? Oh. I've never heard of that brand before. Made in China. Size 34. And we got our jogging pants when we're off work. Okay. Nothing special here. Pro Spirit. Here's our go to the store pants. Okay. Random pants. Now we have a bunch of surgery oh. pants. And they have spots. Oh, wow. There is a ton of them. Old surgery pants. Um, they do have spots on them. Yeah. Oh, they're old dickies. Oh, that must have been what they wore back then. Wow. They got the shirts, too. I had no idea. Uh, can you check the tag on those shirts and see if, yeah. see if they're Dickies? I didn't know Dickies did old surgery. These are SEAL uniforms. Okay. And, yeah, they're all very used. So, I know somebody's going to want these. If not, I'll put them They've online. They've been cleaned, but, you know, some stains don't come out of white. They're old style. They look like they've definitely been in surgery. Yeah. <laughs> That's kind of eerie, isn't it? Yeah, I know. I'm not thrilled with that. <laughs> That's a little eerie for me. Uh, but if you're in, if you're into eerie stuff, um, let they me know. They make a great Halloween costume. Because when we put that video out, remember we found the hospital blankets? I still got to reach out to them, but they said they want the hospital blankets. I got to reach out to her. Um, so if you guys want this extremely old um pants and shirts just let me know he's a, he was a doctor md he's a doctor wow all right that's to, that's a weird note to leave but we did get a bunch of brand new shirts in here which is nice right. and, the, and, and the i cow. like the little cow yeah the sure cow's cool soft. all right so this is today's video this is sunday happy sunday happy sunday hopefully uh the bills or chiefs are happy right now if you're a Bills fan or Chiefs fan, put it in the comments. I'm both. But they're playing today. so I that... hope there's a tie and they can both be <laughs> go, both go to the Super Bowl. Yeah, that would be I fun. I know it's unrealistic. Um, all right, let me put all this away because guess what? We got to get ready for the games today. So, mm -hmm. All right, have an amazing day, guys. Hit the thumbs up button. If you're wanting this stuff, put it in the comments. And also, what's your favorite item? Put it that in the comments as well because I like to see what your guys' taste is like. And that being said, have an amazing day. See you tomorrow. Bye now. These are definitely eerie, aren't they? They might have been life-saving. There you go. That's a good way to think about it. All right, guys. See ya.